Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I wanna talk about some of the things that I regret doing or regret not doing while I was living in my car and while I was on road trips and while I was doing solo traveling. So a lot of you guys know, I lived in this little car on and off for about 10 years. I'm not currently right now, but I did a lot over the past 10 years. And a lot of that is solo travel and like a lot of road trips throughout the United States. And so in this video, I'm not really sure if I've ever done a video like this before, but I just wanted to give you guys a couple things. There's honestly only really a couple things that I regret regret doing or not doing. And I just put regret in quotes because I don't like fully believe in regrets. I'm just kind of using that word for like the title of this. But I think seeing things as regrets is usually a waste of time and energy and space because we can't go back and change it. So I see these more as things I wish I did differently in the past and that I am going to change and do differently in the future. And so if you are interested in this video and if you want to hear these couple things that I'm going to be changing in the way that I travel, I really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. The number one one thing, like hands down, the number one thing that I wish I did differently is that when I was traveling, when I was living in my car, when I was going on road trips, usually by myself, I was on my phone so much. I was scrolling through Instagram. I was on dating apps. I was distracting myself with my phone so much. And a lot of that was because I was anxious and I was depressed and I was lonely and the immediate way to get immediate gratification or in reality, immediate distraction was to go on my phone, was to scroll through Instagram, was to text as many people who would answer me. And while I'm not against looking at Instagram, I'm not against going on dating apps, I'm not against texting your friends. Obviously, there's a healthy way to do that. The way that I was doing it, I know for a fact was an unhealthy way. I know it was because there were so many days that I was anxious and the way that I would deal with that anxiety was sitting right here in some parking lot in the middle of nowhere and just scrolling on Instagram and just waiting until I could go to sleep. And again, you guys know if you've watched a lot of my videos, I do struggle a lot with anxiety and depression and PTSD and OCD. I have a lot of things in my brain that hurt me. And I believe that they're the devil trying to get me away from God. I do believe that, but they do get me sometimes. Even sometimes when I'm in houses, I do the same thing. If I'm anxious or depressed, instead of finding something productive or a healthy way of handling it, there are some times where I'm like, today's a wash. I'm just going to scroll on Instagram. And that is something, if I'm going to use the word regret, which again, I don't like that word, but if we're going to use the, the phrase of something I wish I did differently, I wish I did that differently. There were just so many days that I was in like beautiful Montana that even if I didn't have any plans for that day, I could have made plans. I could have sat outside. I could have read. I could have painted. I could have walked. I could have done so many different things. But instead, I let, and I do believe this is a, I let it happen. I let my anxiety lead me to scrolling on Instagram and just distracting myself or trying to talk to as many people as possible to distract myself. Again, I don't think looking at Instagram or texting your friends or whatever is innately bad at all. I think those can be really good things or really fun things. But I also think that most of us can admit when we're scrolling through Instagram because we want to check up on our friends or check up on people that we follow or learn a new cooking recipe or just, you know, have fun for a few minutes versus when we're doing it to distract ourselves because we're miserable. I think most of us can admit that those are two completely different things. And so I just know that the main thing that I wish I did differently was I wish I was on my phone less. I wish that I kind of was more like, you know, upfront and honest with myself. And I'm very honest and upfront with myself, but I wish I was even more. I was like, Katie, you're anxious right now, or you're depressed right now, or you're lonely right now. So go do something else. Because scrolling on Instagram is not going to help it. It's just going to distract you until you go to sleep. And I think that there are just healthier ways to cope with that and handle that. Again, I don't really believe in regret. So I'm not going to be mad at myself and stuff about this, even though sometimes I do get mad at myself about certain things. But it's more that I just wish I did something a little bit differently. I think I could have had a lot of different experiences if I did not like let my anxiety let me kind of use it as an excuse to go on my phone. And I'm not saying anxiety is always an excuse. I think that's a reason for a lot of things. But for me personally, I think sometimes it was an excuse to just sit on my phone when I know that there would have been better options. And so going forward during all my travels, I want to do the best I can that even when I'm anxious, even when I'm depressed, even if I'm lonely to not sit and scroll on Instagram for four hours a day, you know, because 
because it hasn't been helpful. It's that kind of idea of like, I think there are certain things that distract you and certain things that help you. And if looking at Instagram videos of people cooking actually helps your anxiety and decreases it, then that's great. But again, I just know for me in this specific circumstance that I'm talking about, a lot of the times I scrolled, it didn't help my depression or my anxiety. It just distracted me from it. And those are two different things. And I also just think that even if I wanted a distraction from it, there are healthier things for me to do and even more productive things or more fun things for me to be doing. And so I think going forward, of course, I'm still going to look on Instagram and text my friends sometimes, of course, but if I feel anxious or depressed and that's all I want to do to distract myself, I'm going to work harder on, you know, going for walks or doing arts and crafts or going in a place where I might meet someone or exercising or just finding any activity because most cities, most towns, most places have some sort of activity to do. And so I think that as much as I did do that, I did go on a lot of hikes. I did meet friends. I did go to parks. I did all that kind of stuff. I just know for myself that there were also just in my opinion, too many days where I just sat on my phone and scrolled and I could have done things differently. I could have explored more. I could have met more friends. I could have done more activities. And so that's definitely like my number one regret or thing that I wish that I did differently and that I'm definitely going to change in the future. The next one that I even want to give, obviously I make this video to share about my stuff, but also maybe to give you guys some, some advice or some ideas. The second thing that I wish I did I wish I did this was to keep track of every single place I traveled to. Like I wish I kept almost like one of those like sentence a day journals or a map or something like that. And was like, today I was in Oklahoma, you know, and today I was here and I went to this restaurant. Honestly, my third one is keeping a journal, but I'll get to that in a second. But this specifically, I'm talking more about just where I was and what I did that day. Not necessarily in a journal sense, but just more in a sense of I was in Oklahoma and I went to this restaurant and here's where I slept. I wish so badly that I wrote all that stuff down. And obviously I have some of that stuff recorded, which I think is really great, but I wish I had that stuff written down because there are some times when I think like, okay, it was, you know, 2018, where was I? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where I was in, you know, March of 2018. I have no clue where I was. And then sometimes after I think for a little while, I can remember. Or if I go back in my videos, which again is like one of the things that I'm grateful for, maybe I'll have another video like this, but just more things that I'm grateful for that I did while I was traveling. Cause one of them obviously would be like vlogging so much of it because I do have things that are, you know, immediate memories and I do have kind of a bad memory. And so I am glad that I did record a lot of it, but that's also why, because I have a bad memory, I wish I just wrote more stuff down because like, I know if we're using Oklahoma as an example, I know I've been there. I know I've been to Oklahoma. I've been to all the lower 48 states. I don't remember though what I did there or when I went. And so for me, it's like, oh, it's a bummer. Like I might be able to go back in some of my videos, but also there are some places that I've been to that I went to before I started YouTube. And so I don't have videos or pictures or it written down. And so that is something that's like a bummer sometimes that I really wish that I did differently and that I am going to do differently in the future. And so literally just anytime I go anywhere, anywhere different, even if it's a day trip, just write it down. May 15th, 2000. 2023, this park in this town, in this state. And that's it. Just a little list. Or if I tried a new restaurant or if I went to a museum or anything like those kind of events, write that kind of stuff down. And then so number three, which is similar, but it's honestly, I think it's going to be the last thing that I mentioned here because there aren't really many things that I regret. I might think of a couple other ones and do like a part two to this video at some point, but at least for now, I really can only think of these three things. And this third one is keeping more of a journal. I do wish that I did that. So again, it's a little bit different than the second one because the second one almost would be like a map of my journey kind of is what I wish I did. A map of where I went and what I ate and where I slept and all that kind of stuff. But the third one would be, I wish that just, you know, 10 minutes every night, I just kind of wrote down a couple of things I did that day. I think that that would have been, again, helpful because I have a bad memory, but also just something that would have been nice to look back on. And I've done that sometimes. I have kept a journal sometimes, but not consistently, not like for the long term. And so I do have some things that I can look back on in a journal, but I wish I did that like every day, just 10 minutes right before I was going to go to sleep and just, you know, how I was feeling that day or what I did just in more detail even that day. Because again, my memory is not great. And so I am very grateful that I do have, you know, some pictures from the last few years. And I obviously do have some video as well, but even 
with the video. You know, I might have a video of, of several of the times I was in Yellowstone, but I wish I also had a journal for more of like the private things that I might not share publicly. And so I might not have video of, you know? And so I do think that those are three things that I'm just going to change within my travels for the future. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hearing these things. Please let me know in the comments if you have anything that you like regret or wish that you did differently while you were traveling. Cause I would love to hear. And also I really hope that you're subscribed. I do a ton of travel related videos and then also just like personal videos, vlogs, a lot of like lifestyle videos as well. And so I hope that you're subscribed, but yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Thanks again for watching. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.